The headlines. INEC uncovers 299 names of foreigners on voter register. Quara DPR inaugurates Security Committee on Petroleum Product Distribution. Former Anambra State Governor advocates for increased investment in education. Details shortly. Tune in and stay tuned to TVN, Television Nigeria. Broadcast beyond boundaries. Welcome to the news on the R on Television Nigeria. I am Cynthia Agbo. And I am Vanessa Obete. The Independent National Electoral Commission has disclosed that it has uncovered 299 names of foreigners in the voter register. The chairman of the commission, Mahmoud Yakubu, disclosed this during a consultative meeting of the commission with security agencies under the auspices of the Interagency Consultative Committee on Election Security. The INEC boss explained that the electoral body had removed the 299 so far uncovered. He further revealed that the commission was doing a thorough cleanup of the existing voter register to ensure that those who are ineligible are excluded from the exercise. Mahmoud Yakubu further noted that the commission was aware of the challenges faced by citizens in the ongoing continuous voter registration exercise. He stressed that the Commission will respond within the limits of available resources to ensure that no one who is legally eligible is left out. In a bid to ensure the smooth supply and distribution of petroleum, the Department of Petroleum Resources in Quara State has constituted a 63-man security committee to prevent smuggling. Inaugurating the committee, the State Controller of DPR, Philip Salvation, advocated zero tolerance for corruption among committee members. He disclosed that the state government is ready to ensure availability of petroleum products. The state DPR boss tasks members to discharge their duties passionately. The committee include the police, the Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps, customs and firefighters. The 63-man committee is to prevent diversion, hoarding, adulteration, black marketeering, overpricing, and under-dispensing of petroleum products. Quara State shares border with Benin Republic where there are reports of smuggling of the products. The former governor of Anambra State, Peter Obi, has reiterated that investing in education will drive innovation for human capacity and economic development. Peter Obi said this while addressing a forum over the weekend. He described education as the foundation on which societies are built. The former governor also noted that the world has moved from baggage economy to one where education is used to harness human resources. Obi decried the low budgetary allocation to education in the country, saying that it was adequate to build human capacity and drive development. He urged youth to engage the government and push their demands through electoral means. Nigeria recorded the sum of 12.2 billion naira in capital cash inflow in the past year 2017. This disclosure was made by the National Bureau of Statistics in its fourth quarter and full year report on Nigeria's capital importation for the year 2017. The report represented an increase of $7.1 million or 138 point. 7% inflow compared with the figure recorded in the previous year 2016. Much of the increase in the capital flow according to the report was attributed to an increase in portfolio investments, especially in the foreign direct investment. Growth in foreign direct investment was mainly driven by equity investment, which contributed 99.8%, while other capital investments contributed 0.2%. And in sport, Austin J.J. Okocha has joined the Bundesliga Legends Network. The ex-international who brought joy to the fans of Entrecht Hart Frankfurt during his playing career was recognized by the German League management to merit the Bundesliga Legends Network membership following his sublime skills for the German club. The Bundesliga Legends Network is meant for players who have played in the German League and also display great skills and characters. According to the German Bundesliga website, Okocha's membership makes him to become one of the ambassadors of the German League.
Premier League leaders Manchester City have been fined £50,000 by the Football Association for failing to control their players in the shock fifth round Emirates FA Cup of 1-0 defeat at Wigan Athletic. Wigan Athletic defeated favourite Manchester City thanks to Will Greek's second house strike, which ended any hope of a, a quadruple. After a final whistle, there were ugly scenes, including Sergio Aguero's bust up with a fan, which marred the miraculous win by the league one side. A statement from the FA announced that Manchester City has been fined £50,000 after admitting a charge of failing to ensure that their players conducted themselves in an orderly fashion. The incident took place in their Emirates FA Cup tie against Wigan Athletic last month. On the foreign scene, the United States has announced it will sell to Ukraine 210 Javelin anti-tank missiles and 37 launchers worth $47 million. The sales marked a significant increase in U.S. military support for Ukraine, the first lethal weapon sale of its kind since Russian-backed separatists launched a war against the central government in Ukraine's eastern provinces. The sale is intended to boost Ukrainian military forces as they continue to fight Russian-backed separatists, according to U.S. officials who argue the U.S. is only supporting Ukraine's right to self-defense. The United States Secretary of State, Rex Tillerson, is to visit Nigeria. Rex Tillerson will travel to five African countries between March 6th and March 13th. The countries are N'Djamena in Chad, Djibouti in Djibouti, Addis Ababa in Ethiopia, Nairobi in Kenya, and Abuja in Nigeria. The visit, which will be the first African visit by the current United States government under Donald Trump, follows a scandal caused by the U.S. president's branding of African states as shithole countries. Heather Norrett, the U.S. State Department spokesperson, announced that Tillerson will meet with leaders in each country. He is also to meet with the leadership of the African Union in Addis Ababa. The U.S. State Department spokesperson explained that Tillerson will discuss ways to partner in counter-terrorism, peace and security and promotion of good governance. To end the news, a recap of the major stories. INEC uncovers 299 names of foreigners on voter register. Quara DPR inaugurates Security Committee on Petroleum Product Distribution. Former Anambra State Governor advocate for increased investment in education. That's the news on this hour on Television Nigeria. And before we go, I leave you with this thought. Roll, roll your boat, for life ends as soon as it begins. Thanks for watching. I am Cynthia Agbo. And I am Vanessa Bating. Do you have yourself a lovely weekend?